Hey guys, this is Jerry. So this is a little question that they ask on tests a lot, whether it's biology or neuroscience, and it always trips up at least one or two people in the class. And it's so easy to not get it wrong. In other words, it's so easy to get this question right. I did a double negative right there. And this, is, this video is more for people who are curious or for younger people who watch my channel who might be preparing for tests. And the title of this video is how to tell your photoceptors apart on tests or whatever. And this, it's such an easy way. So for those of you who've ever studied the human eye, right, this is the eye. Again, I'm not the best artist, so st stick with me right here. And then, so you have the cornea, right? This is the, this is the little thing in the front and then you have this thing called the iris right here. The iris changes how much light goes into your eye. And then, so the, the cornea and the iris, and then you got something called the lens, right? This is what focuses. So the cornea and the iris and the lens work together to make things in focus. And then everything gets focused. The light gets focused and it hits this little area here. The thing, this, your, your eye is basically wrapped around by a layer of cells that make up what's called the retina. This is a really bad drawing. I'm so sorry, guys. And then here in the middle is, um, I forgot if it's called the aqueous or the vitreous humor. But well, basically, it's a fluid part. It's like shock, shock absorption. And also, um, for those of you, when you look out, you have a floater in your eye, those little pieces, it's because the fluid in here is not clear. So in case you ever wonder why you have little floaters. But you have two types of photoreceptors in your eye. One are called rods, and one are called cones. So I might have spelled rods wrong, by the way, this doesn't matter. Screw my dyslexia. Anyways, on every single test in biology or neuroscience, if you're studying the eye, they're gonna ask, which one of these receptors are responsible for seeing color? Is it rods or is it cones? Take a wild guess, which one? And here's, here's the trick, it's so simple. Cones, you know why? Color, cones. You can literally just use this little memory shortcut. Color, cones, see color. That's all you need to, but every class where I've had to learn this and take a test, one or two students I see gets this wrong. It's like, don't, don't think too hard. Color, cones. Cones are, are the photoreceptors in the retina responsible for seeing color. Rods are basically, if you ever walk around at night and there's not a lot of light, right? You can still see, but things are more blurry. So rods are responsible for that. Rods are basically, this little area here is called the fovea. This is where you, your cones are concentrated. When you really need to focus in the day, like this is, this, is where, this is where shit happens. But at night, the reason why you can't see as clearly, one, because the rods are not meant to see as much detail as the cones, but two, not everything's getting concentrated in the fovea. So that was a little, very brief tutorial on the eye. Again, I've drawn this wrong, right? You know what, let me just, let me just draw this correctly. Sorry, I don't want people getting mad at me for drawing the eye wrong, but it's more like, like this, like that, right? The eye's like this. <laughs> My drawing sucks, I'm so sorry, guys. So the, retin the, cor um, the cornea is much bigger, and oh, I still drunk, it doesn't matter, but basically that's the retina, and a lot of people, boxers, right? The retina detaches, it's disgusting. So the, the retina, like literally, it detaches. So normally it should stick on the eyeball, but it detaches, it's disgusting. Because the, the eyes are getting hit, shaken around so much. But anyways, sorry, I, I'm totally going on tangents. Rods and cones, two types of receptors in your eye that help you help process the light into something that then gets sent to the brain to get interpreted. Rods interpret the, 
the stuff that's more sort of not detail oriented and related to lighting conditions and cones are all about the colors. Okay, hope you guys found that useful. This was fun, thank you.